Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Finish Your Online and my name is Rivera and uh, I hope you're enjoying your day and uh, let's continue on with our journey of trying to get to max level with this guy um, and you know what I've noticed uh, I don't know if this dude has been doing it for a while I don't think he uh, copied from me but I'm just just, just make just saying just saying uh, I noticed uh, that there's this dude that actually does the same thing that, I, that basically I'm doing right now. And I, uh, you know, I just never had seen anybody try to do this before. And it's kind of weird, but I, I'm, I'm not... Oh my god, well, it's coming out very, very weird. Um, basically, it's just that I had never seen anybody like doing this. But I had also never seen people... I have also never actually subscribed to people that played MMOs specifically. Uh, I had subscribed to people that play um, other games, you know, single players, multiplayers, but not like real MMOs. And um, recently I've been subscribing to people that actually play MMOs and I just noticed that he has something just like this. I was like, oh man. <laughs> and here I was trying to be original. And um, he started a new series. I think it was for Blade and Soul. And I think it's called The Lazy Demon. And uh, yeah, he's called The Lazy Demon. Uh, pretty, cool, pretty cool guy. Pretty cool videos. Pretty cool YouTube. And uh, damn it. <laughs> I completely forgot to organize my inventory. Ah, uh, I suck at this. I very much suck at this. And uh, definitely, definitely want to do that. Let's kill these guys first. It was it Terra? Nah, I don't think it was doing it in Terra. I think it was doing it for Blade and Soul. I'm almost sure about that. Yeah, I'm so confused right now. I'm trying to remember, but what is that? Do you see that? Do you see that uh, red square on the side? It's kind of weird. Never seen that before. Okay, so, um, okay, let me do this. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, I always forget to do this. You can't use Ranger's Nostrum. All Nostrum is no longer available. You can still use Nostrum in shops. Oh! It's for level 35 or more. Okay. No, wait. Yeah. <laughs> what? Or below, I guess. I guess it said below. I'm just completely screwed. Oh, my God. I suck. I, I suck. I suck. You suck it You suck it uh, I, I, I do want to get it, but no. <laughs> I don't want to be annoyed by them. Um, I guess I would have to be up there. How do I get up there? I guess I could get up there through here, maybe? Please make it. What? You saw that? <laughs> uh, oh, come on, Terra. Uh, yeah, Terra just wants to be that annoying MMO that makes you turn, do a 360 turn just because. Oh, Tara, I love you, but sometimes I hate you. I love you, but sometimes I hate you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you get to see the faces I do when I sing. Hey, that's, yeah. <laughs> now nah, get out of my way, noobs. I'm going all the way. I'm going all the way. Okay. Oh yeah, in the last video I was practicing my orc voices. I didn't even check the video out. <laughs> well, I haven't even uploaded it yet. But I'll have to check that out. See if it's actually good enough. I'll try and do some more voices. This way. <laughs> yeah, like, look. And right on the last video, I guess I'll be talking about this a lot. <laughs> Maybe some people, the imaginary people that, the bunch of imaginary people that are, are um, I don't know why I do this. 
the bunch of imaginary people that are watching this video um, yeah if you remember the last video <laughs> you'll notice that I, I was I was talking about how adding up new characters would make it more enticing I then adding up new mobs would make it more enticing but it just doesn't seem to uh, they just they just keep doing it <laughs> and recently they've been doing it more and more and more and more like I have not seen new mobs in a while when I did enter to a dungeon that had these guys but very very big size then those were new but now they keep repeating these guys and, and I already seen these guys before on the, on the beach side which is kind of sad and I did get to a cinematic where they were like, uh, oh, we have defeated the locks of Zion and blah, blah, blah. And I didn't catch that on camera, but who cares? That's when you go back to Velika and uh, oh my God, fuck Velika. Yes, frack Velika. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. <laughs> but um, yeah, so last video i was talking about design and i think i'm gonna keep talking about design i'm just gonna try oh my god again like two videos ago three videos ago i was in this beach desert area where um we had the little ones of this without the masks because this one had mask uh, masks i believe and then we had the big ones the the, uh, the medium size because this is actually like medium size and now we have it again like like almost right away we have them here like please make it a little bit different give it another color scheme um do something about it i don't, I don't know but when you do this, it just feels so. Well, I guess I guess I haven't been reading. I have not been reading the story. Therefore, I don't really know if they should actually be here or not. So, what am I complaining about? Well, I'm complaining without knowing. So, better stop. I'm, I'm going to. Ooh, mother. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. You son of a female dog. You mother fracker. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, but it's hard. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Oh, I, <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I thought he casted something upon me. Oh, man. That was, that was scary. It's, it's frack. <laughs> that was scary as frack. Wow, only 2%. <laughs> okay, let's see what I can do. And, um, yeah, as always, beautiful design from Terra Online. Look at that. I think I've seen those flowers on the ground. Or related flowers on the ground but look at that that's just beautiful like overgrown stuff this is just weird but i guess it's like corruption x corrupted x or something like that um meaning that the area is being is falling on oh look at that look at that tree over there so terra is beautiful man and, and, and that's one of the main reasons i kind of don't get tired of terra i keep getting nergasms um from Terra every time I see these beautiful sceneries that they have designed. So it's not like like I rant a lot about Terra, but it's not like Terra is bad. It's not like like Terra have too many flaws. Oh no, not at all. Terra has done uh one of the greatest things for gaming, for MMOs. And that's actually putting it, no, not actually putting. It's actually using action style stuff. Because 
MMOs have had not done well. Of course, I'm not talking about instance-based MMOs. I'm talking. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Sorry about that. Of course, I'm not talking about instance-based MMOs at all. Not at all. I'm talking about um, like the the normal MMO RPGs that we always look at. And I was just making sure that I was actually recording because it has happened to me <laughs> before. Um, but, um, you know, the normal MMORPGs had not done an actual, actual, well, I'm sorry, they have actually done it. They have actually done it because I have been looking at it before. Um, and, uh, and actually we have um, Ragnarok Online, which did this sort of action stylish kind of thing you know it was not too shabby at all I actually love love Ragnarok Online to death it would be really hard for me to keep playing it like I tried to do an, a play on it for Spanish <laughs> but it just didn't really happen and learn how to teleport to and uh, I don't know what the heck is that but that has to be awesome and um, you know love it to death really really good MMO and they had this like action stylish kind of thing which was awesome as well you know? so it's not like MMOs had not been uh, all over it uh, wow 22 fucking shards are you kidding me and, uh, and then you get the instance based uh, MMOs which are uh, Dragon Nest. Beautiful, beautiful game. Beautiful game. Definitely, definitely have to try it if you've never played it before. Um, and then you got uh, Not Continent of the Ninth, which I tried. I didn't really get much into it. It just seemed like another Vindictus to me. Although it, it was uh, heavier on the story because it was more related to like an MMORPG just like Dragon Nest was wow so good that we got to start Dragon Nest gave me a lot of cinematics I know is I know it was like dungeon based and all of that but gave me a bunch of cinematics you know that allow me to like jump in and, in the story like it enticed me to actually sometimes stop and act and, and read the text and, and be like okay what the heck are they doing like what the heck do they want and because the quests were actually story quests or quest bore quests like you would know okay I can stop on this quest and actually try to read it and see what's going on so I can understand a little bit more of the story and because there were so many cinematics cinematics as well I was able to jump in the story a little bit more because I would I just had to watch the cinematic and that would give me enough information to jump in a little bit more into the story. You know, this is this is this is the these are the sort of things that uh, I believe MMORPGs have to start doing much, much, much better. It's uh, like uh, Blade and Soul. Blade and Soul have this sort of thing I, I'm actually explaining. They they the beginning cinematic was completely huge. I was not expecting it to be so big. Uh, it, it's so much that I actually felt like I was doing a um, a reaction video, <laughs> which was kind of stupid. Uh, but it was awesome. They were. Um, it was enticing. Uh, it it made me care about the characters. It, it made me want to learn more I'm, I'm actually looking for a bridge there's a fucking bridge i knew it and i had to take the f oh, oh damn it oh, good lord i don't know what's all the way over there and i don't want to know because most likely um that's gonna be for another quest and well yeah so i was saying um you know he made the characters enticing it makes you want to look more into them it makes you want to look more into the blade and soul story it makes you want to come back to uh, certain things just to understand it it you know like the, everything that you would do to to understand the, the story of that game it makes you want to do that and that's what 
And so that's one of the reasons uh, Blade and Soul is actually so awesome. Um, and also, well, that's just one of the reasons that makes Blade and Soul more awesome. One of the reasons that Blade and Soul is so awesome, which I just noticed like a few days ago, is they are actually improving on the PvP, on the PvP arena, arena of course, because that's why they are kind of selling more than anything. Um, I just noticed like they were doing this tag system and it was like 3v3 and uh, you would get like a, a certain amount of tags. So it would, be, it would be like a Naruto kind of thing where you have your plane and then you have other people on the back that help you. But then you can also tag with those people on the on the back that are helping you, which is it's tremendously awesome, tremendously, tremendously awesome. I mean, have you ever seen that before? I mean, we're we're, we're talking about actual innovation on PvP for MMORPGs. That's fucking awesome. That just made me hot an orgasm right there. I was like, wow. Whoever did that before? No fucking body, man. Oh fuck. Okay, there you go. No fucking body. Like, like, that's the sort of thing that I want to see on an MMO, on an MMO. I want to see outstanding PvP, outstanding design. Uh, a purposeful grind like grind with a purpose and grind with a good and grand purpose so to speak. Um, this certain line may, might not do the grand purpose uh, holy crap this dude is hitting me fucking hard the grand purpose grind but it does do oh come on yeah come over here come over here come on oh shit uh, but it does do this thing where, um, for, for, for like, if you want to, you can, you don't have to stop um, the grind. Like, you you don't have to stop leveling up. You you don't have any limit for leveling up. So it entices people to continue leveling up, to continue the grind, just for fun, just because. If they want to do it, they do it. If they don't want to do it, they don't do it. The max level is like 50 or 60. But really, it, it, it's so hard to level up like after 52, 55 or something like that. That you could, even, I would even consider it to be 55 to be the, the highest level possible, so to speak. Oh, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Oh, still shit. <laughs> Uh, but it's awesome it's beautiful you know like um, sometimes they okay it's not very purposeful to do the grind but it's easy and it's awesome and it, it, it feels it feels good to do the grind and, and it feels like if you don't have at least a little bit of skill you might end up dying so that's good give me that give me that um oh shit <laughs> I can't help anymore <laughs> Give me that, um, you know, like, uh, oh, hardcore mode. But it's not hardcore mode. It's just a little bit harder than normal. It's just, uh, it's just that. It's just a little bit harder than normal. I have two of those. I have two of those. I don't really use pots. I don't. Never, ever. Maybe later I'll start using them. But uh, those are the speed. Is actually good. Uh, mm -hmm. So I was doing dungeons, and that's why I'm, I'm getting this stuff. But you know, make the grind awesome, and you will have uh, good times, like in Black Desert Online, which I haven't played, but I know you will have good fucking times with that one. Uh, make the grind awesome, and you will have that. Make the grind purposeful. Make uh, make the grind have a purpose. And then it'll be awesome as well. Make the grind, um, you know, something. Make the grind be beautiful, and then it will be awesome as well. Like 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 this. Make make it look beautiful around it, and it'll be awesome as well. Make it look like it it connects with the world, and it'll be awesome as well. So, 
it, it's just like I just think that they they are not putting all their effort sometimes in what they're doing and sometimes it's just that they don't feel like uh, you know breaking up with a recipe which is to me that's one of the greatest mistakes that MMOs and, and non MMOs are doing these days. This is one of the really, 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 really big mistakes. Everything is just the same. And, this. and I was talking about how Terra Online was like the first, but Terra Online was not the first. And uh, the one that was like the, uh, the first action. I wouldn't know which one it was, but you would have to mention, I think it's Darkfall. Uh, then I believe Hellbreath was action style as well, but it was like a top-down action style. It was like Diablo, but an MMO. Um, I don't remember exactly how it worked. It's, it's been too long. <laughs> you got Mu online, you got Conquest online, but those were not as much action action, you know. Um, I don't know how her breath was, was how action style ish it was. Oh man, but I'm trying to remember. I think it was Darkfall, the name of it. That was the one I was looking at. That that was when I just I was getting bored of MMOs. Like I would play MMOs, but they, they were just not giving me that sensation anymore. Of hey, this is good, and I was just uh, trying to look up new MMOs, and I found. Uh, that one, but that one was a pay to play, and I had no money. <laughs> and if you have no money, then, then, then how are you gonna pay a pay to play? <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, that, that's what it came. Oh, wow, he's really, 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 really good. Right and so, uh, yeah, you know. The, there are many, 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 many more games did it before Terra. And, and some were more action style than Terra, some were less uh, action style than Terra. Well, Terra is very much action style. But if you attack him like this, then it actually follows him anywhere he goes. So I don't know if I can say that it's fully action style but it is very action style and there are games that are even more action style than Terra so yes so yes games that had done the done it before they were even higher action style and I guess they saw the success they had with it and Terra took upon the quest of trying it out you know to try out and do some action MMO and they actually did it they did they're doing pretty good I'm pretty sure of that they have to be doing pretty good I mean they, they have to right a lot of people have been playing Terra online and it, it's just uh, beautiful to know that because because of that then you've got um, not Archage Archage did the economy thing and because of these then you got Actors are online coming up. Um, which other ones? I don't even remember, but uh, Blade and Soul came out. But that was like around the times of Terra. But Blade and Soul is not really the action anymore. It's not really the action anymore. It's more like Guild Wars. Yeah. Of course. Not at all like Guild Wars, but it's more into that kind of thing. It's not really the action -y, um, thing that I like. So let's see for how long I've been talking. So yeah, the, I'm going to try and keep the videos a little bit shorter. A lot of people, a lot of friends have been saying that I just spend too much time on the videos talking shit. <laughs> Therefore, I'll be trying to reduce the time seems to be pretty bad compared to that one that was. I was not expecting that. And it installed and it's getting on, so I was expecting it to be a little bit better, but no. I got completely denied. 
and let me let me throw these away. And uh, I just want to say thank you guys for watching the video, for listening to me rant about this things and, and those things, and you know, just just listening. Oh, that was a boost. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I almost used that one as well. Um, so yeah, so it, the video is gonna be uh, ending up right now. And thank you so much for being here. And uh, just wanna uh, keep ranting about certain things. And hopefully you will like that. I'll finish these two quests that are showing up here. If any more pop up, I'll finish them and then I'm gonna move to the other side and then I'm gonna continue with the videos. I'm thinking that, yeah, that way I'm gonna keep them shorter and I'm gonna keep uh, less episodes going up uh, just from this stuff because it's just questing, you know. This is, and it's weird questing. It's just like kill this, kill that, and it's very boring. You don't wanna be watching that. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep the videos shorter. I'm gonna keep less. I'm, I'm gonna go show less quests and uh, I'm also going to I guess keep talking about the sign keep talking what I think of uh, MMOs how I think they could be better and uh, there's actually um, I think it was the lazy PM he was talking about his uh, hypothetical greatest MMO or something like that or like what he would think would be the greatest MMO ever uh, hypotheticals, hypothetically speaking, some shit like that. I don't know. And he was saying certain things that I, I didn't agree with, but of course he was saying it subjectively. So it was like the greatest MMO for him. Uh, so what I thought, like certain things that it just wouldn't really, uh, like they were not really the best from this MMO that he was mentioning. It was really better on those other MMOs. So I would I would switch certain things here and there, but but yeah definitely I actually gonna talk about that maybe on the next episode. But yeah it's been fun guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you I'll see you on the next one. So yeah, have a good one everybody. It's been a long time since I had done this. Uh, have a good one. I'll see you.